What's up guys? Welcome to your 123rd Android tutorial for the new boss in. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to learn about this modify or set up or modify button. Um, again, what this is going to do is if we were too drunk and we put in someone's you know, information, whether we misspelled their name or we gave them a higher attractiveness rating than they deserve, we're going to allow a button that we can modify that entry. So what we're going to need is we're going to need both the, the edit text for the name and the edit text for the hotness ranking and also our row ID. So let's just copy and paste again first our row which converts into a long from our get information and let's just change this to string row uh, and uh, long row something like that and we're going to convert the string row um, so there we go we have a new long and again we can just copy and paste our string name and hotness from our update button so we're just going to copy that and paste it below as well and just you know uh, maybe change the name a bit don't have to but uh, m hotness and all that good stuff so again that's just going to convert our our string name and or edit text into a string for both the name and the hotness and we're also going to see what row the person wants to to update or modify and then we just again need to create a hot or not class or object we're going to call it uh, ex I don't know new hot or not and pass in the context this and then just ex open whoa and uh, ex close and then this is the, the method that we're going to create so we're going to say ex dot update entry something like that and we want to pass in all all of our information for the most part so we're going to pass in a which row we're get, working with the long and then we're going to pass in the name and the hotness uh, so we're just going to say l row for the first parameter which is going to be a long m M name and M hotness and so again we have to create this method within our our hot or not class so we just hover over here and say create a method called update entry that takes a long a string and a string so you're going to click that and here we go uh, we have our update method update entry and all the information that we're passing in from the previous class what we want to do is we want to set up a content values whoa content uh, values and we're going to call this CV update something like that and we're going to set this equal to new content values and then we just have to say uh, CV update dot put and again we just refer to our key name which we're gonna say key uh, underscore name and value we want so we want the value that's being passed in so there we go uh, we set that up oops except it's M name and again we just need this CV update for our attractiveness or hotness so again we're just going to say key hotness and what's being passed in which is m hotness and then we just have to update our database so again we're going to refer to our database uh, variable and we've used the method you know query we've used the method insert um, but now we're going to use the method called update so again we just have to put in our table which is going to be our database table our values which is our uh, content values here that we just updated uh, the where clause is going to be kind of similar to what we did in the last tutorial where we got the information the specific row so again we're just going to say row or <clears throat> we're going to say uh, key underscore row ID uh, plus in quotations again equals and then whatever is being passed in, which we call the L row. Whoa. L row, like that. And then the fourth parameter we're going to set to null. 
And again, I'm sorry, we have to put a plus here as well. So now that's just going to update our database uh, according to whatever, again, we passed in to our update entry. Um, so that's going to update our database, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.